This video has been a long time coming and it's been prompted by a lot of what I'm seeing on YouTube channels in the last couple of weeks here. Um, being at Landstar with an SFI lease or having a lease truck period, that, so that's some of the things I want to go over today. I took the time this morning and today in general to contact a few drivers that I know that are here at Landstar with an SFI lease truck. Some have their trucks paid off, some don't, so some are just like me. They're still having to make those payments. And I asked them one question. Knowing what you know now, would you do it again? And every one of them, down to the last man or woman, said the same thing. Yes, they would do it again. I learned at an early age that being successful at business or anything, a job in general, relies on you not necessarily being the smartest one in the building or in the business, but surrounding yourself with people that are smarter than you, that know more than you, and that are willing to work for you. As with any business, people don't necessarily work for you, they work with you. And it's important to have a good, solid working relationship with these people that work with you. And hopefully they are smarter and better at their job than you would be. And it's also important to surround yourself with positive people. You don't want to listen to somebody complain and bellyache all day because it'll just drag you down to their level. What I'm about to do is probably oversimplify some things for most of you people, but a lot don't understand their numbers when they're operating a lease truck or their own truck for that matter. But at Landstar, they've been a good fit for me. They're a good team to work with. They're solid. They know what they're doing. They've been in business for years and they work with the owner operators to help them succeed in every way possible. Now let's dive into the true numbers of an SFI lease. There's gonna be a lot of SFI lease operators that disagree with me on this, and that's okay because everybody's different with their finances. But the true numbers that I have, that I have to make every month before I get a dime in my pocket is about $10,000. That's the lease payment, insurance, the fuel, everything and that also puts some money back to pay off that balloon payment i've included that balloon payment at the end of that three years and what in what i have to earn weekly and monthly because at the end of three years i'm simply going to wire the money to them and they're going to fedex me my title and that's how it's going to happen at sfi you do have options at the end of your three-year lease you can either turn the truck in you can renew your lease for an additional year and have a smaller balloon payment, or you can go to your bank and finance the balloon payment. The choice is yours, whatever you want to do. I've elected to pay mine off at the end of three years. That's why my monthly expenses are so high, because I'm putting back enough money to pay that lease off when it's done. And so far at Landstar, Landstar has made all this possible. My previous company, not so much. I mean, it was just horrible for me there. That was my experience. Now, I know SFI lease operators that were successful at that same company that didn't work near as hard as I did, but it was a struggle for me over there. But Landstar has made all this possible for me. I'm just gonna lay it out there. My expenses are not your expenses, so your results may not reflect the same as mine. Always keep that in mind. No two people are alike. The biggest issue I have here at Landstar is the amount of money I lose taking off. I don't run that hard. I, I take a lot of time off, I have to admit that. What it all comes down to is what do you want to do? If you were gonna get an SFI lease truck, I would recommend coming to Landstar or someone equivalent to Landstar on day one. Day one, make it happen. Don't take it over to the other company thinking, no, oh, it's click and go. Because no, it's not click and go. It relies heavily on where you live at and where you're willing to run to. The bottom line is that I had a plan. I come to Landstar and Landstar enabled that plan to happen. It's happening. I've been successful over here and my truck will be paid off at the end of my three year lease. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. I already have the balloon payment sitting in my bank right now, just sitting in savings, waiting. And for all of those of you who like to be negative about things, 
That savings account is not my escrow account. I have an additional $18,000 sitting in a managed maintenance account and an escrow account. So if I have a major breakdown, I'm not the least bit concerned about it.